Leading up to Labor Day weekend, officials warned of increased COVID-19 risks. But large Labor Day gatherings may not have occurred in part due to wildfires and poor air quality. ABC 7 News data journalists analyzed mobility data from mobile devices, looking at the typical distance traveled by people on Labor Day for each of the Bay Area's nine counties. The distance traveled was especially low. The lowest distance traveled was for people living in Alameda County, with the typical person traveling less than a quarter of a mile. While the great the greatest distance traveled was for people in Marin County, with the typical person driving a little more than a mile. Dr. George Rutherford is a professor of epidemiology for UCSF. It's hard to ascribe a, a silver lining to the to wildfires that are burning up large chunks of the state and people's livelihoods and houses with it. But I would see this more as a kind of a collateral benefit. Of, of that disaster. In its summer travel forecast, AAA reported travel would be down 15% as compared to last year. Obviously, the CDC still recommends that we don't travel uh, at this point uh, because of the pandemic. But you're right, there are several other things that were going on in Northern California that uh, people may have decided to stay home about, you know, the, the air quality uh, being one of them. AAA Northern California spokesperson Sergio Avia says travelers are making a lot more last minute decisions. Where they're deciding to travel either day of or within a, a week of their travel time. He also says they're driving more than flying. And what we've discovered is that those road trips are uh, a short distance away, uh, anywhere between four to six hours. When deciding whether to hunker down at home or road trip to get to fresher air, Dr. Rutherford says... It's all trade-offs. The decision to stay indoors Labor Day weekend could be reflected in the state's COVID-19 case numbers over the next week. People have stayed home for whatever reason. Uh, there's less chance for transmission, and we should see that in lower numbers of cases and a lower positivity rate. For the IT, Melanie Woodrow, ABC 7 News.